you all are. I wonder where you all went. Hey, do you want to come on a tour with us around another caravan? Why not? Come on. So today, myself, my mum and Grace at Wivensea Sands. We're currently at 15 Elm Grove in an eastern caravan. Even though it says on the board, you're in a Victory Leisure Home. That's the company. Uh, Belmore 38 CL. It's a free bedroom leisure home. And we have got our very own veranda and... What's special about this caravan is your bedrooms are at either side. Now, myself and mum have done caravans like this in the past. So we're going to see what's through the sensory door. So come on, I'm going to take you and see because seriously, this layout is quite amazing. Right, um, you'll see two different outfits because we just found an issue and I want to film this issue, so here we go. So just pretend you've been seeing the caravan. <laughs> so hello. So you've got this open plan area here. And under here, what did you find? A bed. Oh yeah, bed under that one. And what's under this one? Damp. Damp. So mum's just going to show you. So here's the damp. I don't know if you just saw that. Let's have a lift together so yeah so you can see all watermark and we could smell something so that must have been it when we first came in so we have the table here mirror lots of storage but only one drawer so you get all your general stuff and everything so i'm going to show you everything of storage your bins there i would prefer the bin inside and if you look out your kitchen window, you can see the lighthouse, which is actually getting mended. So your Wi-Fi and, and phone calls won't be good. Microwave, kettle, toaster, and you do have a teapot. We bring our own and everything else is in the cupboards. Now, me and mum have been keep, keep thinking this is a door for the bathroom. It is not. It is. Oh, we've got milk. Oh, we haven't packed the milk and <laughs> whipped cream. So you got your fridge and your freezer. I know. Now let's go this side of the caravan because you're probably thinking, why is the living room inside? Well, you've got a bathroom here, but. You've got two bedrooms. Now these are exactly the same, um, but one slightly is bigger. So you got above storage, cupboard, drawers, and your radiators there. And then this is the next one. So you can see it's just a bit wider than this room. So it's exactly. Like I said, it's just exactly the same. Um, we just took the bedding off the bed that we slept in and everything, so that's okay. So now we're going to head towards the um, other side. You haven't showed the issue. Oh, yeah, I have to go outside for that. Thank you, Mum. So we're going to just go outside and show an issue which is quite dangerous. Uh, we're not really happy with this. I mean, it is for fire safety but it's not child safety, so here we go. There's no fire safety mark on it. Yeah, there's no fire, so no it opens out this way, so it's just, just not safe. Right, go back in, darling. So, so yeah, so I'll show you the other side of the caravan. Yeah, it's cold outside. <laughs> Bless her. So, oh, hang on, I'll show you this. So you've got an, a fire here, more storage. We've got an extra fridge for some reason. I don't know why. We've just got Bing on. Here is your heater. And this is the master bedroom. Your storage cupboard for all the um, cleaning equipment is there. And you just got all this. And then you have your own en suite bathroom. Right here. And I'm just going to show you what to do with 
with this boiler because it's quite awkward now we have put it on permanently on when we put it on timer it didn't always work so i decided to put it on permanently on and it worked much better to do but it's up to you what you want to do this is the instructions uh and everything i mean we had it on come on on at seven till ten i think uh, but yeah and you've got to give it a good bang speaking of doors banging please respect your neighbors stop doing with your car door even if you peed off just shut it gently i mean it's just a nightmare what neighbors have done you get your own hair dry as well it is quite powerful and everything but if you want to bring your own that's perfectly fine and we've heard people bring their fryers oh, and yeah. slow cookers yeah so you can bring them as well but do be careful because the electric can switch blow switch i'm not sure where the switchboard is normally oh it might be in the bedroom yeah it'd be in the bed one of the bedrooms not in mine. In the cupboard, so it might be in my room then. So it's a nice caravan. The it did smell, yeah, with the thing. Yeah. So this should have been pet pet friendly. I asked for a pet pet friendly. Can't even speak now. Pet friendly caravan. Um, due to the issue change. So. So yeah, the caravan site is nice and quiet and everything. Um, it is surprising how quiet it is, even with this little one <laughs> being noisy as like four kids, but she has been loving it. I'm just going to go on the decking, which needs a jet wash. It does need a jet wash, this. <laughs> Oh, so I'm just going to go down the steps and just give you uh, an issue that we did have every night. So, you haven't got many street lights at all. Um, so it is pitch black. So when you walk down, so I would recommend you to bring a torch. Even though we have one right here, it didn't shine uh, enough. And this part of Elm Grove is a one way and you go round to the back of this way. So I'll just show you what this way is because there is a new area behind these. Now if you don't want to be near these you might have to say you don't want to be in a 16 and 15 Elm Grove or 14 and 15 because we were in 15. So, so yeah so this area is brand new and you have the park one here or park two should say here this has got the zip line a swing and just a little activity thing you have Tauras here as well i think Tauras are all on this green bit so yeah so it's a lovely quiet time at this time of year and everything um every i've actually spoken to someone um who's at san le Mer, and they said it's quiet at this time but certain years it can vary so it's always a hit and miss situation so we're going to go and take a look at the complex again now the issue with the complex is that it can well can be a bit of discrimination there's only one ramp and you've got it now if you're on this side you've got to and you go that way out where the way you came in you have to then walk up back up to the complex and round for the ramp there's a stairs part which can easily be converted into a slope if they had the chance to but if you go this way around and I think it's much easier uh, but we've always tend to go that way so we'll probably try that way well I have to go that way anyway to 
to, to park out. So yeah, so you do have a lot of seagulls, a lot of flies and everything. Please do not, yeah, please don't feed the seagulls. Please don't do that. They don't recommend you to feed the seagulls. Please put your rubbish in the bin because they have been getting it. Um, what else? That's it really. So we're going to go to the complex now and like and see what we can do there. Um, I don't think there's anything on Friday. So probably just good in the amusement um, and mum's going to buy Grace a Naki. Even though Grace is a little bit scared of Naki, we're just trying to get her used to him. So we're going to see because she's got all the rest of the crew but she hasn't got a big Naki. So we're very excited. Um, thank you for the stay caravan at 15 Elm Grove. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah, I mentioned that we've got dead flies. I mean, like I said, it does need a bit of a jet wash, anything. But that's most caravans. The caravan next to us is that's got a bear poo all over and everything. So my car is filled up and everything. So see you later.